Like, you know. If you uh, only get to mollywop two kids, I mean, <laughs> like, why, why would you even, you, you, why'd you even pay entry fee? Yeah, but, um, it's all good. Uh, and I mean, I was thinking about going Fox, but a little backstory, I did beat Boneless at last CC, but yeah. that's because I cheesed him out with DK. And I think that's something you gotta do. Like, if you're, in my opinion, well, for me at least, obviously, if you're not the same, if you're not in the same boat, you don't have to listen to this. Uh, if they're better than you, again, you gotta play the game. And I felt like going Fox, Fox could beat Diddy. Yeah, we and were. I could, and yeah, Highwayman was talking. I'm pretty sure Highwayman. Yeah, Man. yeah, Highwayman was saying like, yeah, you like you can definitely do it. Just don't, just don't get smashed forward. Yeah, um, but that's the thing. It's like I, I acknowledge Bonus is a better player. So my win con was cheesing him out with DK, and unfortunately it didn't happen that time. Okay. But enough about me. We're gonna get an actually good fox with the Highwayman versus Krebs's villager, and this is a matchup that's heavily in Fox's favor. But it's super annoying, it's going to be strong, and we're just going to be here for a while, so. Ooh. Yeah, I think we just saw a bit of a, that, uh, what is that, frame three Nair just instantly cancel out the Vortex startup. Yeah, so the thing with Villager is, like other projectile heavy characters, what you got to do is you got to go in, and then you got to be, and you got to stay in. But with Villager, you know, you get in, and then they just Nair you off, and then you have to try to fight your way back in again. Yeah, you, you, you start to get that train going, but it's like, you know what, it, it didn't really matter in the first place. Oof. But right now, Krebs is going to try to do his best to run away with this oh. lead. <laughs> oh my god. And run away with the lead, he is going to have an easier time doing it. The tree there to protect him, Captain Planet style. Um, I mean, if he wants to, this is the perfect stage for him to run away as well. To grant it, I don't think you know Krebs is going to do that. Unless he feels like he needs to. Um, you know, Maybe if Hyrule Man kind of smacks him up a bit, maybe he'll be a little bit more defensive. But he's going in right now. And that's what happens when you go in as villager, so... All right, the boot's going to even up the stock. 36% in Highwayman's deficit. <laughs> that being said, 36% is nothing to a fox. Okay, up there. Oh, oh, oh my was God! That, double, was that double, triple, double, triple, hitting him up with that double, triple. Oh my God! Today was a good day. Triple, oh. double. Captain Planet again. He has the axe. The crazy axe child murderer is on stage. I don't think will axe kill. Do you think axe is going to kill right now? Oh, Axe will not kill. Axe not gonna kill? No, Axe will not kill. Nope. When do you think Axe is gonna kill? Uh, 95? 95? All right. All right, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Granted, I don't know the first thing about Villager. I'm, I'm talking out of something right here. <laughs> hey, man. We're, we're just here to have a conversation about what may or may not happen. Fairfoot's still not gonna work on Villager, my guy. He has a really good recovery. Yeah, unless you dump him directly into the blast zone, he's gonna yeah. make it back. Right now, he basically evened up, you know, Highwayman Man was doing not he was doing all right, but fell to an early deficit, worked his way back, and now he's still not in the lead, but he's like three percent away, so that's nothing. Up smash? No. I know I know he wants it, but he has to find the Ooh. Yeah what I've that's the second or third time I've seen that at this point, but those bowling ball bombing runs from from Krebs, those are those are meaty, spicy, and I want to watch them all day. Yeah, that's the thing with the taxi platform for a villager. They kind of act like a, a little bomber, uh, like a little airplane bomber, because he just sits on there, he throws off the bowling ball, he throws off the potted plants, he can throw off the Lloyd, like everything is still there for him to use. Except now, he's doing that while moving. Ooh, try to get the regular get up with you up tilt. Thankfully, Highwayman knows how broken side B is sometimes. Up throw, not gonna do it yet. Fox does not have a kill throw until like 170 to 200, depending on range. And at that point, just up tilt. You know? Yeah, at that point, up tilt will kill, so there's no point in trying to go for a kill throw. That's up the tree again, not completely watered, but that just means we'll spawn faster next time. So has access to the watering can if he wants to push him away just a little bit. Waters the tree, now he has the axe. Axe will definitely kill now. Maybe oh, yeah. he has a setup into it. Hit him, him with the uh, Renai. Just. Oh. I think he's trying to jab axe you up. Oh, I, why did I, we were both thinking jab axe right there. And I was jab like, axe. Oh. Yeah, I, saw, I started thinking jab axe the moment he punched the tree. Well, the, the moment he jabbed the tree, I was like, okay, he's practicing on what he's going to do to Highwayman right now. He, he, he's like, uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I got it. That, that's the feeling I want to do when I, when I chop this fox up. I mean, here's the, here's the thing. If you're able to put on uh, boxing gloves and just punch a tree to submission, just, even for a moment, punching a fall fuzzy animal is not going to be that difficult. Let's be real.
Iron Man, smartly, staying the better character, which is Fox. He didn't make the same mistake I did and switched to his big boy character. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And you see, Reflector's also not the best thing. Because, yeah, you reflect one thing, but then Villager can just pocket and great, now he has even more projectiles to throw at you. Yeah, that's actually something I was thinking about. What if what if there is a reflected uh, uh, tree that comes out, but it just pockets that? Yeah, if he pockets that, you die at zero, so... <laughs> I don't it, know. It, it's an on-demand, it's like foot soul tree. Yeah. Or Jab tree. Anything tree you Or die. just raw tree. Yeah. Ooh. But Hyrule Man seems to have a better start this time around. And Town of the City is also a really good choice for him. You know, up smash, up air are going to be killing a lot sooner. Uh, and then overall, I think Krebs can have a harder time, especially because it's like FD mode. There's not that many places for him to, you know, platform camp if he chooses to. And there, one. All oh, reads the roll in. As, as Reed definitely went out of killed, but I love the attempt. Oh, depending on DI, he may have killed. Who knows? three across the stage. If he DI is all the way out. He has to kill himself, who knows? I mean, at that point, then you deserve it. Let's, <laughs> let's be real. I mean, at that point, you're asking for it. Actually asking for death. But I'm loving how Man's play right now, doing a good job spacing his aerials properly. The timing is also amazing. Kind of being a little ambiguous with his movement, but Krebs, you know, slowly clawing his way back. And unless he gets a setup to up smash up air or back air, this little boy, this mare boy right now, is going to be lasting a long time. Ooh. Up to... Give that 15% of that probably would take. That being said, going to lose all his rage instantly right there. Probably give it 30% more at this point. Yeah, up total kill. Weak Nair to up smash was the thing he was looking for. And again, as Fox, you got to look for those things. Because if you don't get the cheesy early Vortex Fox kills, you kind of suffer from a little bit of Marthritis. You don't get the kill as early as you would like to have it. He's dead. If he air dodged. Oof. All right. Krebs now has sitting at a major deficit, almost getting lapped in percent. Ooh, 4% away, 9. Up oh. tilt should not do it. Ooh, that was surprisingly close. Oh! Axe Murderer strikes again, taking the last stock of the first game and taking the first stock of this game. Is it lag on that dash attack get canceled out somehow? Uh, I think he dash attacked the forward air. That'd do it. Oh, oh nice my god, here. double up smash, up air. Up tilt, keeping him, he's sharking. Oh. My, my boy is sharking. He's still right, good, he's not, still not yet, not Yeah, yet. did not get the strong hit of that forward smash read. I was gonna mix up this time, he jumps. Iron Man looking for a roll read of some kind. Doing an amazing job right now. But being patient, you don't have to approach when you got the lead. Make the villager come to you. Dashing in and out. Krebs does not want to approach. He knows what he's got to do to win this game. Got to catch Highwayman slipping, and I think if he breaks Highway's man's, you know, composure, that's all it really takes. Highwayman doing a little cute uh, crouch step right there. We're seeing a bit of a fair wall coming up. Tree is gone. Might see a bit of an approach from Highwayman. Oh no, he approached. That was a little risky for Krebs. Good reflect, good shield to respond. Oh no, not Highwayman. Oh, Highwayman is a approaching. That was godlike nair. Oh. Highwayman is approaching. I don't. Okay. You just gotta, you gotta bait and punish. Come on, whip punish him. Uh, okay, but Krebs, you know, he's still got this. He's got the win con going. Rage Axe, and oh. gets it with the back air. All and right. good stuff, good stuff. So that's gonna be a game three. Going to now we're going to game three now. Uh, Krebs taking the first game, Howlman taking the second game. Uh, Krebs is going for that preemptive up air, trying to catch an aerial option, like stuff it out. Uh, Howlman doesn't commit that hard and is able to whip punish with that back air. Let's stay hydrated. I don't know, you had the headphones on, was that loud? Did they hear me sit? I, I heard a little bit. Oof, okay, next time I'll take the headphones off whenever I need to rehydrate. It's, it's okay, no worries. You good? You tired? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right, that's good to hear, because right now... Other than the mind-numbing pain, I'm okay. Oof. Talk to him, we can talk, we can talk about that after this match, and we're going to Battlefield. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a good stage for both. A good stage for both. Fox is the best stage, but... You uh, yeah, know. Fox combos, but villager camps. Villager could circle camp, platform camp, I live forever. Go literally all the way around the stage back. Yeah. But you just gotta grab the ledge first. So if there's one game out of this set that could go to time, I do believe it will be this one. I can easily see that happen. Yeah. It depends who has the lead. I feel like if Krebs has the lead, it may go to time. If Highland has the lead, 
It could go 50 50 either way. That's how I feel personally. I like to charge up on that F smash, but it's a little misspaced. Oh, up tilt. Good job on Hellman to shield that, knowing that double up tilt isn't true on Villager. Up air. Up air. Ooh. Only got single hit, unfortunate. Nice empty hop grab. Oh no, he's loving his turn. Yeah. Why, why did you Why did you question it? It's villager. Yeah, but I have I have a villager friend named Points Blank, and he is notorious for SDing with this character. Oof. <laughs> Shout outs to you. But I mean, it's practically even right now. Krebs not having the lead anymore. And I mean, Harman's doing a really good job of just you know getting the hits that he needs, not overcommitting. And you know, just slowly hit by hit, racking up his damage until he gets the kill confirmed that he needs. I like uh, all the tech roll ins that Krebs is, or tech roll reads that Krebs is going for with these F smashes. The spacing on him is perfect, but it's just not the timing. Happening. Yeah, he's not getting the right call out, but it shows that he's. Oh. Ah. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a trade. We take those. And I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, you know. Box side B is kind of BS sometimes. If I'm surprised yeah, at anything. Some, sometimes, in some situations, that per might have clanked. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't clank. But, you know, that's just Fox privilege right there. You know, Krebs got, Krebs got the read, and, you know, he got rewarded for it. So now Krebs with the lead could do the things I was talking about earlier. He could circle camp, but he's not because he just got up smash for his troubles. And uh, you can't exactly time someone out when you're at, when you're at a 30% deficit. I, I mean, you can, but it's scary because if you lose the lead at the last second, you end up losing to your own timeout. Yeah. But something I do want to mention that I don't know if I've brought up yet in any of the Villager's matches we saw. Uh, you know, Villager notorious for having a good wall out game. But one of the tools that he uses all the time, which is that Lord Rocket, is also one of his greatest weaknesses because it takes a little bit of time for him to pull it out and let it rip. Yeah. So if you're fast enough, you actually could punish him for pulling out that Lord Rocket. And that's exactly why he got that up smash early on. In the oh, yeah. Fight. Great. Oh, was that double? That, that was the double triple again. Yeah, uh, he's getting that double triple. You know, that's how you know you're a villager man when you get blessed with RNG like that. Hit him with, hit him with the uh, with the, with the ice cube. Today was a good day. Yeah, but how man immediately bringing this black, putting him in the blender. Let's see these ledge games, these ledge traps, giving him all the space in the world again. While it may seem like he's giving the ledge for free, you don't want to overcommit against villager. You want to make villager approach you haphazardly. Ooh, oh, goes for another roll read, no punish. Getting close. Alright. Gonna be seeing an axe in a little bit. 5% separating these two. There's still a whole 2 minutes, 45 seconds left. It's kind of a stock for someone right here. Dashing in shield. Oh, laser in the wrong direction. Uh, he's slowly running. Bear boy is going in. Oh, he wanted oh. the axe! Yeah, that was, that was whiffed. Oh! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Oh, is he gonna cut the tree? Is he gonna cut the tree? He yeah, does it, cut the tree. Yeah, I was about to say, this is, these are dire circumstances right here for Howard, man. Oh, he definitely wants his edge guard. Oh! Just missed it No, he's slightly. dead. He's, no, why did he jab? I was trying to have just done it. Uh, a little bit of shakiness. Oh! Up here, one. Oh. oh, he wants the triple again. But now Krebs has a pretty good lead if he just wants to be evasive. He can't. No, he goes for the jabs yet again. Yeah, you're just looking for a, a jump cancel. And now he has two Lloyds. Oh, there was a phantom there. I saw the spark. Oh. What's going on? He's hiding behind the tree. Captain Planet trying to save him. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. If he hadn't aired, that might have done it. And now he's in a bad situation. God. Okay. Up there should take it. Good job from Highwayman being extremely patient. That was tense. Not letting the nerves overcome him. He did he did what he had to do to get the win. And good job on Krebs, because you know Krebs didn't give it up either. He didn't just run in and get smacked around. Like he made Highwayman work for it, and that was that was a good game for both players. But now Highwayman advancing on in the loser bracket.